Right, let's welcome to the show Congressman French Hill from House Financial Services and the ranking member of House Budget. He is Congressman Jason Smith. Gentlemen, it's great to see you both. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Liz. Happy Good Thanksgiving, to be with Liz. you. Great Good to, to be with see you. you. Okay, Congressman Hill, this disturbing case of corruption and greed. An FTX unit, this is a crypto exchange that collapsed, spent $300 million on luxury mansions in the Bahamas. Bankman Freed, the CEO, spent another $121 million in investor money on at least 19 luxury properties for senior staffers and a $16.4 million luxury home for his parents, Stanford University professors. Congressman Hill, you sit on an oversight committee. Is D.C. not about the little guy anymore? Isn't this disgusting? And what's more disgusting about it is after complaining about crypto finance for four years, the Democrats are on the take for over almost $40 million of campaign contributions from Bankman Freed and FTX affiliates. I hope they give all that money back before we have our oversight hearing in early December and try to get to the bottom of what is clearly an outrageous uh, misappropriation of funds and fraud by Bankman Freed and his colleagues. And it's pretty sad that his parents are professors at Stanford Law School. What does that tell you about the quality of the law school? Yeah, but reportedly, to the Congressman's point, Congressman Smith, the parents are reportedly trying to give the deed back. He even bought condos in the swanky Bahamas resort where Tiger Woods has his annual golf tournament. Seven Democrats sit on House Financial Services. Maxine Waters caught blowing a kiss to Bankman Freed in December of last year. Uh, he gave out more than 40 million to Democrats, right, Congressman Smith? That's more than the 200,000 or so that Republicans got. Liz, he was the second largest contributor right behind George Soros to all Democrats. You're talking about tens of millions of dollars, giving that money with probably the expectation that the Democrats wouldn't look underneath the hood of his his corporate dealings. Well, maybe maybe he just was able to take care of that. That's why the Democrats did not do oversight. Think about this. In the House Ways and Means Committee, there's been less than 15 hearings over the last two years. Three of those hearings was all about giving tax breaks to their wealthy political donors. Of course, they're not going to give oversight, uh, have aggressive oversight on someone who who has given them the second most amount of money. So of what are you guys going to do? So to Congressman Smith's point, I mean, we broke the news last week, Congressman Hill, that he set aside a $4 billion, more than $4 billion in loans out of investor money for himself and his cronies, half a, bi a billion dollars for him, half a billion for his founders. Uh, his co-founder, rather. I mean, Congressman Hill, FTX's tentacles ran deep in D.C. Again, who's watching out for the little guy? Because, and who's watching the watchdogs? He packed his board with former CFTC commissioners, a former acting chair under Obama, the former chief operating officer of CFTC. So what are you guys going to do about this? Well, Liz, first, let me thank you for your persistent investigative journalist attitude about that, this. You've been great on this topic. I really do. You've been at first in the news on this item. We're going to have a hearing in December. I hope we use our subpoena power not only to bring FTX uh, to the table and anyone advising FTX, but let's also invite the uh, chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler. Let's have all the documents of all the meetings he had with FTX or FTX advisors because American investors were involved in losing money in this Bahama, Bahamian beach party of Bankman Freed. We want to get to the bottom of it and make sure that he's held accountable and that the regulators are held accountable here if there's but are you any gonna connection get a hard time? for I, American investors. I, I, sit tight just a second, Congressman Smith. Are Democrats and House fin uh, Financial Services going to give you a hard time about this? How, how are they, what are they saying now? On what, on oh, what I'm basis? Sure they the good news it's is... Congressman Hill, well, sorry. I'm sure they'll have one. Uh, look, I'm sure they may have some, but look, they've been very skeptical of cri crypto, and yet they took this campaign contribution. That's what I find hypocritical about it. But this hearing is a joint hearing that's called by Patrick McHenry of uh, the Republicans and Maxine Waters of the Democrats. Let's make it the starting point of getting to the facts around this FTX collapse. You know, his, you know con to what Congressman Hill is saying, Congressman Smith, his, he, his CFTC, that's his company's regulator. 
He lobbied and weakened government oversight there. He wanted only CFTC, not the SEC, to regulate him. He wanted to clear all FTX trades through the CFTC with no intermediaries, no guardrails, no safety nets. Carrie Gensler apparently taught with uh, Bankman Fried's father. So there's a lot of weird insider cronyism here. You know what I mean? Liz, those points that you just brought up, and I want to agree with uh, Congressman Hill, you are doing an incredible job investigating this, but all of those points that you brought up is exactly what needs to be called up in oversight hearings. These people need to come before Congress. After January 3rd, when the Republicans have the gavel, whether it's financial services, whether it's the Ways and Means Committee, or whether it's the Ag Committee, we need to call them all up in all the areas of jurisdiction and get down to why and how this happened. You know, I appreciate you guys. It's very kind and generous of you. I, you know, I covered corporate accounting scandals for the Wall Street Journal in the 90s. It just feels like we're back here the same place, Congressman Hill, where, you know, political donations come in to these politicians who sit on these oversight committees tasked with doing oversight, and then these companies complain to those politicians and weaken the oversight of the market regulators. Let's listen to Terry Duffy. He, ran the, he runs the CME, the market regulator for derivatives, and you're going to see, uh, you know, Congressman Dusty Johnson. He's about losing his mind. He was on our show with us earlier in the week. Watch this. He didn't know the difference between regulatory capital and margin capital, so it made me laugh. Um, but, you know, really dismissive when it comes to a guy like that. Can you imagine the damage this human being could have done to our country and the world? I mean, and people literally, literally were turning a, a blind eye to it. I mean, it's absolutely an embarrassment what went on here, and nobody bothered to look at it. I knew he was a fraud the day I met him, and it was quite easy to pick out. I am just so frustrated that we have had floor time for defunding the police, for the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, for the Green New Deal, but Speaker Pelosi has not been willing to put bills like those I support onto the floor. It, it is amazing to me that Sam Bankman-Fried has been honest about this, Liz. He said, you know what? If you say the right woke and enlightened things, the left will celebrate you, even if you don't really have anything on your balance sheet. That is terrifying. We have got to do better. So, uh, you know, here's the thing. Sam Mankman's freeze, uh, his activity took off when Joe Biden, he really started to get aggressive in 2020, 2021. His company started losing money during the bullish crypto market run. It, it was losing money. So, it, the Congressman Hill, first to you, what were Democrats doing this whole time while this thing was blowing up? Well, Patrick McHenry, our ranking member on the committee, has worked and tried to work for over a year to have a bipartisan digital assets bill where we define digital assets and then we define how best to regulate them. And he has been forestalled by Maxine Waters until this past September when she began to work constructively with him on a stable coin digital assets bill that's uh, now still under in the works. But the point is, we have an Enron moment in 2022 with the collapse of Terra, Lunar, other things are in uh, jeopardy, and now the collapse of FTX. We've got to get a handle on it and get a handle on it now, and that's yeah, why dangerous. this hearing in December is so important. Yeah, there's a contagion happening. It's now approaching two trillion in losses in crypto potentially. Congressman Smith, what have Democrats been doing this whole time while this has been ramping up? Liz, the last two years, while there's been complete Democrat one-party rule in Washington, they've been doing three things. They've been benefiting their wealthy donors, they've been building the bureaucracy, and they have been bankrupting our economy by spending trillions of dollars. If you donated to the Democrat Party, you were benefiting under the one-party Democrat rule, and that's the policies they push. It just feels so bad. The little guy feels the system's rigged against them, and it feels like it is. Congressman Hill, and it's, it's unacceptable. It can't happen again. Congressman Hill and Smith, happy Thanksgiving to you both. That was a great interview. Appreciate you guys.